at uh, an auto parts store, they're like two or three bucks a piece. You might get three of them in a pack for uh, $6.95 or something like that. I might have dropped one over in there somewhere. So, um, anyway, buy yourself some of those because when you take these old ones out, they're brittle and they break. So, all right, so then you've got all those rivets out. You just lift this up. Let me lay my hose off to the side here for just a second. So, the heart is slide it. Let me see if you can see that part. All right, so slide it out from under this little lip right here around here it goes under the uh, chrome piece and then it's you got it up and slide it out from under this handle here and slide it out so now you've got access to the top of the radiator this is the top of the radiator here and then this is the con uh, the condenser for the air conditioner let me see if I can lean that over in a little more adjust my camera a little bit um, so, just a second. Okay, so this is your uh, radiators. All you can see here pretty much is the white line, but going down in here. So what you want to do, and this is uh, a mixture of simple green. I just used an old uh, squirt can I've got there. But it's one to one mixture, one part of the simple green const concentration to one part water. And so what you want to do is uh, spray that down on the compress uh, on the condenser. The condenser looks like a small thinner, like a thinner radiator. So uh, spray that simple green or some other type of concentrated degreaser that's made to clean aluminum you don't you don't want to use something um, maybe that's acidic or something that's going to really tear up your aluminum and and erode it you don't want to do that now this is a new radiator if it was an older radiator I'd tell you to spray some down in there on your radiator also to clean it up but anyway you want to clean that right there real good and uh, use your little brush like this. Go in. Straighten my camera back out for a minute. Go in and just lightly uh, rub it up and down to where it kind of works the some of the dust out of the uh, out of the the fins there, cooling fins. So just uh, just work that up and down. Now I've already cleaned this once, so it should be pretty clean. This will help your air conditioner get cooler, because if you've got uh, if you've got dust and grime on your cooling fins, they're not going to be as efficient. So clean that off. Another thing is, if you ha ever have to get a mechanic to work on it or work on it yourself, it's really nice to have it as clean as possible. Uh, that's another reason I cleaned this up real good with that. I've already done it, but this was really uh, pretty uh, nasty. So let me say that, lay that down. So I cleaned this up for already. Like I say, using this simple green. I think another brand they use sometimes is called Mean Green. You can clean the top of your uh, top of your radiator reservoir also. So clean all that up, brush it off. I'm letting that soak in on that uh, condenser there for a few minutes before we uh, spray it off. And just when you spray it. Just keep your uh, spray towards the uh, front of the car. Don't flood the engine with water. It'll it'll handle a little bit of water, but you don't want to put a ton of water on it. So, and I'm just doing this with one hand. So just use a good stream of water. Clean it up good. 
let most of the water fall straight down uh, into the gap. That part gets wet when you're driving in the rain anyway, so it's not going to hurt anything. Spray it really good because you want to. Now I can see the water's already flowing through the middle of that middle of that condenser better than it was uh, when we first cleaned it up. So spray that up. Do yourself and your air conditioner a favor. Clean that up. Clean that up. Uh, and of course, if you have to uh, have to work on it, you rinse your battery off a little bit. Uh, so it's just a way to clean it up. Then you can, of course, put your cover right back on. You can wipe your cover down also. You got to slide your cover under your. Uh, your lift handle there and then you have to slide this lip underneath the chrome right here and then you'll put your uh, clips back in I'm putting new clips all through it because I don't I hate the old clips they're old and brittle and when you buy them like this you get them for like three three or four cents a piece okay YouTube just a way to help your vehicle out Help yourself out at the same time. Make your vehicle last. Have a great day, and thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, please. Thanks.